Ask Reddit by Significant View 1671. What's the most intelligent thing your pet has ever done? I was playing a video game with headphones on when my dog ran into the room and started barking at me. Loud and constant. Right in my face. She ran to the kitchen then back to me. Barking the whole time. I went to the kitchen to find my cat choking on his food. A few sharp pats on the back and I was able to get him to cough it up. I didn't hear the choking sounds and she reacted quickly. She saved his life that night. That's amazing. I've heard about dogs saving humans, but him saving the cat makes him a real hero. He started listening to the GPS in the car to say we've arrived so he can proactively get upset that I might leave him for a few minutes. I'm so glad he's putting his intellect to good use. Mine learned to recognize the pattern of phone conversation at the curbside vet drop off during the pandemic. Me. Hi, I'm here with dog's name in spot number 3. Dog collapses into histrionics. My dog accidentally got out of my in-law's yard so he went to the front door to let us know he needed to be led back inside. My cat did the same thing once. It was Halloween and she snuck out when I was putting a bowl of candy on the front steps, and 10 minutes later, during which I was looking all over for her, because I have a habit of making sure I can see her inside whenever I open the door, even though this situation was the first time my fears had ever been correct lol, I heard meowing from outside the door. My hot water heater failed. My cat chased my boyfriend down and howled at him incessantly and led him to the basement where he heard running water. Her alerting him probably saved me tons of money of water damage. One of my cats would turn the sink on downstairs to a trickle and drink from it. I would get up in the morning and turn it off. Always just a trickle. Well water so not too much of a pain. About 4am one night to him meowing loudly on my chest. I got up and he ran downstairs. Somehow a washcloth had clogged the sink and flooding everything. When I got to the sink he was on the counter pawing at the lever in a panic. Once I turned it off he ran and hid for a whole day. Cat likes to open doors with handles. He can open the handle door knobs easily but knows the circular knobs requires both his paws. So imagine it's 3am, pitch black, and you hear a door knob jiggling like a human is trying to open it. Yay, fucking nightmare fuel. Orange cat? My cat was in my face as always and yawned. I took the opportunity to put my finger in his mouth to see how he'd react. He just gently closed his mouth on it and looked confused. I praised him for being so gentle and patient. Later that day, I had a very deep yawn myself. I gently closed my mouth around my cat's paw. He stuck his little hand in my mouth in an excellent imitation of my earlier behavior. We had a good laugh. My cat likes to play fetch. She will put her toy at my feet, then reach up and pat me to make sure I know that toy is there. She will keep on until I either throw it for her, or put it in the microwave lol. I have to show her that is where it is, so she will stop bugging me. I work from home. My cat wanted my attention. So she walked in front of my monitor. I shooed her away and continued with my work. She walked behind my monitor, looked me dead in the eye, and stepped on the power button to my power strip. The look said now. Pet me. My smaller one will jump up and press the power button on my PC tower. I have to keep it covered now. I had a dog who literally understood a lot of what I said without actually teaching him. For example if he came to my room and I was busy and didn't want him in the room, I'd say, not now Bruce and he'd leave. He wouldn't even come in my room unless I said it was okay. He was also emotionally intelligent because when we'd got a cat, he honestly was upset, depressed, would walk around looking at us with those big puppy eyes, head down, like you're replacing me so I grabbed him and told him, I still love you boy. You aren't being replaced. You are still my dog and that's never ever changing he perked up and wagged his tail and wasn't depressed after that. Dogs can definitely surprise you with their range of intelligence. Amazing. 
I had a dog named Bruce that understood English as well. Australian Shepherd. I was fixing the bathtub drain. Bruce was wandering around the house looking for me. It's a shepherd thing, so I'm told. He walked up to my then girlfriend now wife and sighed. It was obvious he was looking for me. Mbsi said Bruce, he's in the bathroom in the bathtub. Dog walked straight to the bathroom, straight up to the bathtub, nosed open the curtain and found me. Caught my cat peeing on the toilet. It was totally on her own, we did not try to train her to do that. Blew my mind. We have cats so we have litter trays everywhere for them to poop in. When we got a dog he saw where cats do their business and started doing the same. My dog taught himself to alert to my fainting condition. Before any of us humans had any idea what was going on. He would do anything to get my attention and try to get me to sit down in the floor, which definitely saved me from some falls. The time that I did faint while alone he immediately went and got someone. He's still a pretty good early earning system for things generally wrong in my nervous system. It's pretty cool how accurate he is. My roommate's kitten was a thief who stole towels and washcloths of all variety. My dog learned the behavior from the kitten and started stealing kitchen towels to lay on. I put down a memory foam mat for him to lay on in the same spot and asked him to please stop taking the towels and call me crazy but it worked. My great Dane saw a spider on the floor in the living room, walked calmly over to it and stomped one foot directly on it, looked at it in satisfaction and walked away. He's a good dog. My great Pir is also a slayer of spiders. Mine doubles are something stupid. My family returns from a night out to find that the dog got into the Halloween candy. Naturally, he's rushed to the vet and they make him vomit it all up so all is well. Once the panic stops, we all notice the remains of wrappers where the candy was, meaning that my dog opened candy, like a human would, and then ate it. R.I.P. Chewy, he died of unrelated causes after a long happy life with us. Perfect name. My dog opened a door once, IDK how she did because it was a pull door. She hasn't done anything similar since. Not long ago. We had a neighbor with a 100 pound lab that liked to play with our dog. That lab found the weak spot in the neighbor's invisible fence and knew how to walk into our yard and open our back door in order to let our dog out to play. It was a bit annoying, but at the same time, they loved playing with each other. My dog was begging for food while we ate dinner, then she ran to the back door and barked signaling to be let out. Once I walked over to open the door. She ran back to the table and jumped up go try to lick my plate. Wasn't even mad. My dog does that to steal my seat on the sofa. My cat is a sleep bully. If I wake up in the middle of the night and she catches me doom scrolling on my phone, she'll just lay on my hands and phone and start purring violently. Gets me to stop scrolling and the purring is enough to calm me down from whatever head funk I'm in and helps me get back to sleep. So not really a sleep bully, more like a sleep helper. Left bath water running and got distracted by whatever forgetting about it. Heard my cat crying and went to go check on him. Homie was meowing cause the water was just about to overflow the tub. When my old dog got sick she stopped eating her dry kibble. It really stressed me out because I was afraid the end was near. So after the vet visit I tried to entice her with foods toppings, canned food, and even home cooked food. Now I swear to god she'll turn down food just to see if I'll sweeten the deal. Then begrudgingly eat the food I've given her if I don't. She'll be 15 in a couple months, so she deserves it all. Years ago I had a cockatiel who learned to mimicking the house phone. On the weekends when I slept and late he'd ring to wake me up. My brother's bird learned to imitate the doorbell causing the dog to go crazy and bark. Then he tells the dog to shoot up. My cat can sense my seizures. He'll come up and smell my breath, and either walk away, no seizure, or lay down and start purring very loudly, seizure. He's done it with my old roommate before too, who also has seizures. 
it's pretty interesting. My African grey parrot would use his peanut shells as cuffs for his water despite having a water dish. He would take sips out of it and everything. Mayo. A refined gentleman. My dog has learned the basics of mercantilism. He will pick up a shoe, or a toy, or some other object and walk over to the tree jar. If you offer him a treat, he will trade the object for it and walk away. If I don't tell my horse when I'm going away and how long I'm going for, he won't talk to me when I get back. If I tell him, he's happy and affectionate when I return. I travel a lot for work so it's really noticeable. This is so fucking funny. I dislike horses, not their fault, irreconcilable differences, but tell your boy he's alright. Our apartment is above a row of garages for the complex and my cat can recognize when our specific is going up and will run over to the door to greet us. He also has learned the specific beat my car makes when I lock and does the same thing. We have a camera in the living room and have watched him do it many times. As the owner of a ferret not much. I don't know how many times she's flung herself off the bed after getting worked up in an attack frenzy. How these animals ever survived in the wild is well beyond me. Now my Aussie Shepherd on the other hand, who I just finally let go at almost 15 years, R.I.P. Pi, was a genius. He could work a soccer ball like nobody's business, and had a huge vocabulary of words he understood. He was athletic, handsome, gentle, and sweet, and he lived to please. I'll miss him dearly. I was on vacation and my cat was being babysat at my aunt's house. When I came home, I opened his carrier and tried to get him inside but, as usual, cats don't like going into the carrier. He started walking away from it but I said, let's go home mid-walk. He suddenly got the light bulb moment because he turned around and walked straight into the carrier himself, like he realized if he went in, he'd get to leave my aunt's house finally.